Hey everyone, hopefully you guys liked my uh, quick little video uh, on uh, toner cartridges and where to find little bits and pieces of gold in them. And a uh, quick explanation about uh, also little inkjet toner cartridges and their ribbony type gold and whatnot. Uh, here's another quick little video. Uh, with the printer stuff I received, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, about eight uh, PCs. Uh, I wasn't expecting too much out of them. Uh, like I said, it was my friend's uh, little business. Uh, and he gives me scrap once in a while. The last time I picked up uh, computers uh, and laptops and whatever from him, they were uh, really, really old. We're talking about single core uh, computer so uh, it pretty much all went uh, to the scrap heap you know separating the motherboards and hard drives and platters and drives and drive boards and fans and all that in this pile uh, this is what I love about scrapping uh, it's when you get something that's uh, more valuable than the scrap value so these PCs I got were I would say a lot better than uh, older single core uh, PCs with IDE hard drives and these are all uh, somewhat newer um, these are all dual cores or quad cores. nothing special not i5s or i3s or i7s but uh, nonetheless pretty good so this guy over here was about 30 or 40 bucks worth this one was a little more when I checked online. All the pieces, uh, we're talking about memory, uh, the hard drive, the CPU and everything, uh, came out to about 50 or 60 bucks. This one too, this one was not bad again, uh, around 30 bucks. A little older, but the piece is still worth quite a bit. Now what surprised me was this guy over here, this guy over here, pretty much the same computer. Uh, the CPU was not bad, it was their quad cores and uh, they ended up being worth by themselves about 20 bucks. Uh, the memory to uh, uh, I think it's 4 gig memory you can see here this was at about another 20 bucks. The motherboard itself uh, was actually worth almost fifty dollars on its own uh, I'm not sure. I didn't check what this uh, heat sink is worth, but it's pretty heavy duty, so it might actually be worth quite a bit. At least I hope. <laughs> might be worth a few bucks, but uh, I'm planning to sell. Uh, most probably, I sell it as a whole kit, you know, for about a hundred bucks or something. You know, we take it out of the case and everything, so uh, weighs a lot less for shipping. And people need these replacement parts. I think this was kind of like a server type PC that's why it was worth uh, quite a bit more uh, then you have uh, actually these are older style uh, heat sinks I'm gonna still check their value but I'm probably gonna scrap them now these fans these extra fans cooling fans they sell not bad uh, unfortunately before I got these I needed a couple of fans and I paid six or seven bucks for two of them so I can probably get six or seven bucks for two of them also. Then we have these uh, guys over here. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. A DVD drives are just not worth it, really. I didn't bother testing them. I think I'm just going to take them apart, sell the boards and whatnot. The fun thing about all of this, this was five of the CPUs. So we're talking about... 300 ish dollars worth of stuff here but this is what I got lucky on too honestly I think all these PCs they just had bad hard drives uh, he kept all the hard drives except for one but for example this guy here is an i3 we have another i3 here and this guy here is an i5 so As a PC, they're not, obviously they're not the most recent Intel chips, but they're still 
pretty good, better than dual cores or core 2 duos and all that. Uh, what I'm planning to do with these, I'm actually going to uh, put in hard drives in them and uh, sell them. I wouldn't be surprised if I get $100 each, so this whole pile of scrap that I got, not including toners and printers that I'm going to scrap, uh, just the, the hardware you see here, the PCs, I'm thinking I'm going to get 600 bucks just off this, and I got everything for free, and it's fantastic. And that doesn't include uh, cable scrap and power supply scrap that I took out. Uh, probably get another maybe 20 bucks off of the, you know, scrapyard scrap, but just this stuff here, uh, 600 bucks. So this is... Scrapping is fun, uh, you know, you take things apart, take out your frustration, you know, you make a few bucks. Uh, whenever I go to the scrapyard, I make anywhere between five and a thousand dollars worth of scrap. I try to bring as much as I can. But this right here is what I enjoy when you can make six hundred dollars and all you have to do is do a little bit of testing, unscrew some screws and pretty much get all the stuff for free. So, uh, best place uh, to sell this kind of stuff, uh, at least the parts, uh, would be uh, on eBay. The systems, I'm going to try to sell them locally, because uh, uh, just the shipping uh, is going to be a hassle to ship these. But, uh, these are these little things here are pretty easy to ship. So, uh, uh, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, feel free. I try to uh, respond as soon as I can to messages. Uh, if you guys have any ideas about this stuff, wonderful. But uh, uh, well, I'm pretty much going to put this stuff on eBay. And uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, I'll make about 300 off of this stuff. And maybe another 300 off these PCs. Uh, wish me luck. And uh, once uh, I do sell them, uh, maybe I'll post a little video saying uh, how much I ended up making out of all of this after fees and shipping so uh hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, i'll talk to you guys soon